before we hop into this video, I want to apologize for the sound quality because I had this little fan under my, uh, you know what I'm saying, laptop, and you're going to hear it throughout the whole video. So, you know what I'm saying, go ahead and hit that dislike button, I deserve it. YouTube, it's your boy Big Holly. Y'all already know what's going on. We here. Listen, today we are back again. Guess who's back? Back, back. Holla's back, back. Not funny, cool. All right, so this is another Nick Cannon disc by Mises. Now, I'm gonna be honest, he did the first one. I didn't like it. You know what I'm saying? I feel like it was race baiting against race baiting. I ain't like it. Get him up out of here. My, my guy dropped another track. Now, I don't know what led him to drop another track. I don't know if Nick Cannon slid in his DMs and said, Pull up. And my guy said, look, I'm, I'm here with the smoke. But he's dropped another one. And I'm all for redemption arcs to see if he does something different this time. So let's see. I hope he comes with the bars this time uh, instead of his approach from last time. But we're going to see. This is Home by Mises. And y'all hit that sub button. We're on that road to 100K. We're trying to hit that goal by March 31st. And if y'all have been following the channel, y'all know why. I'm not going to say it every video. But well, I'm going to keep reminding y'all as we go along. But let's hop into this home Nick Cannon diss track. Let's get it. Give a fuck if Nick's beefing with M. I didn't write guess because of the invitation. I wrote guess because I'm sick of racist motherfuckers in hip hop. Nick Cannon being one of them. Matter of fact, invitation dropped December 9th. I recorded guest October 18th. I got the studio files to prove it. Nick, this shit personal. Okay, okay, so in his diss track, maybe he did write it before. You know what I'm saying? He's saying he wrote it in October. Uh, the invitation dropped on December. So if that's true, it wasn't a direct rebuttal. You know what I'm saying? To Nick Cannon. But uh, I feel like it could have been directed a little bit more towards Lord Jamar. But I guess Nick Cannon just got the bullet because he was in the way. But let's see what, what he comes with on this track. Prove it. Nick, this shit personal, bro. Uh, yeah. I'ma die for a motherfucker lie, dog. On a test, be my guest, go ahead, try, dog. Fuck a fast if I ride, dog. I'm blowing out your eyeballs, why, dog? Why you gotta mm. bring this side? I mean, nigga, ride on you quick. Or you fucking ride on this dick, ho. Bitch. See, look, this is, I like, now my man's attacking Nick Cannon with bars trying to show his, you know, say cadence and all that stuff. This is what I like to see. This right here. Let's get into this. Nigga, ride on you quick. Or you Bro, I ain't look, I ain't gotta fight you on behalf of Eminem. Eminem don't even have to fight you. Cause you use all Eminem's bars to try to beat him. Alright, see, this is what I like to see. My man is battling now. He's in his mode. Let's get into this. the best that you ever flow. Your career is the best joke you ever told. I ain't scared head west. This best that you ever flow. Your career is the best joke you ever told. I ain't scared head west. About to hit the bro. Catch you by the public. Run up on your wall. This is a far better angle than what my guy did last time. Last time it was race, race. Now he's saying like, forget skin. Who, who, do you want the smoke or do you not want the smoke? These is the angles you take in battle rap. I, you know what I'm saying? I'm liking this one. <laughs> the chorus go crazy. I don't even remember the chorus on the last one if there was one. Call me yes again. I'm gonna send you all, motherfucker. Damn, man. Why you at the star shit? Looking like a lamb with a fucking magic carpet. Mm. We'll call you a husband, but you could Says you look like Aladdin with your carpet because my man keep the head wrap on me. So you in your you in your bag on this one. You in your bag on this one. Never started if I'm a guest and you a host. Learn to play a part, bitch. But you ain't no host of hip hop. You a host in Hollywood. Act up, you get dropped. Mm. I know you people nick a pin to your lap. Been put my Tim's on the boards where you mix your tracks. I can drop your head in like you. Bro, see, look, we should have got this on the first one. We should have got this on the face. He said, look. If this is hip hop, you know this ain't your house. You a host. 
You know what I'm saying? And you're not even a host of hip hop. You a host of TV and celebrity funny joke telling. Stay in your lane over there in the comedy world where your best joke you ever told is your career. Top, drop your head in like you drop T and these the deals. So drop the race shit before I drop it for real. Drop it for real. Put you on your ass, niggas. Rapping ain't the only way that you can get your ass kicked. Man, you fucking trash, bitch. Yeah, I'm the best that you ever flow. Your career is the best joke you ever told. I ain't scared here in West, but. Oh, he said Eminem's verse, Eminem's bars that you was using was the best flow you ever flowed. You know what I'm saying? And he even addressed the whole thing where Nick said he was going to pull up and give. Eminem the fisticuffs. Misa said, listen, I got the Joey Daddies too, and I will unload these guys. Okay. So my man got in his my man got in his bag with the talk. The talk to him. Talk to him. So basically I like how he elaborated better on this one. Like if y'all know my grapes with the first one, is because I feel like his points weren't articulated too great to divide to, to separate himself from certain ways people can uh interpret the message. Here, you know what I'm saying? He had the third verse where he talked to him. He said, listen, this is a culture, you know what I'm saying, that came from oh, what do we call it? Like uh underprivileged, impoverished places in America. You know what I'm saying? It's a culture. That, that's where it was birthed. You know what I'm saying? And people grinded to put it on. A lot of people play parts. And Eminem did play a part in making hip-hop what it is. So, like, if, if you say people don't belong somewhere solely on the fact that they color in 2019, my guy, you gotta go. Well, it's actually 2020, so. <laughs> new year, new holla, what's good? The best joke you ever told. Yeah, here in West, but they hit the road. Get you out of bubble and run up on you. Whoa, 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 whoa. All the bunnies get a no, motherfucker, no, motherfucker. I'm gonna let him know, motherfucker. Holy shit, skin, better let it go, motherfucker. You know who he reminds me of? He reminds me of, uh, I don't know if any of y'all know the artist, Adam Calhoun. You know what I'm saying? He did a song called Racist. You know what I'm saying? And he elaborated on the points of race pretty good in that song. If I, if y'all want to see my reaction, it's on my channel. Y'all go watch that thing. You know what I'm saying? But, he, like, his cadence, his voice. It's kind of like Adam, even his beard, you know what I'm saying? It's kind of like Adam, is y'all brothers? Listen, let me know if this is Adam Calhoun brother down below. I know it's probably not, but they do sound alike a little bit. Guess again, I'm gonna send you all, motherfucker, Y'all know I rock with Adam Calhoun, my man go hard. Let him know. He got, he got, he got instrumental at the end. Y'all know what time it is. Hold on, let's back it up. Listen, it's 2020, about to hit 100Ks. That's how I started my last one. I got to do some different bars. Let me see. 2020, about to wear my victory lap shirt. Okay, I don't know what rhymes with shirt. We gonna back it up one more time. Big Holly gonna get these bars off. All right, listen, here we go. Listen, 2020 about to pop some champagne. Look, I got everything to gain. And it's YouTube, you think I made my name. And I never cross nobody for no fame. And I, oh, only four bars, Big <laughs> Four is at the end of the time, I'm saying. Hey, listen, y'all know the freestyles at the end of my things. They're all, they're freestyles. You know what I'm saying? I, I put them there to make jokes. 
when, when artists leave a little bit of instrumentation for the big holla feature at the end of their song. You know what I'm saying? That was my feature bars for that. But y'all let me know what y'all think of this. I feel like this one was a much better, you know, I'm diss track uh, than the first one. You know what I'm saying? I feel like points were made. My man was battling. And he wasn't just fighting fire with fire. It wasn't like a race baiter versus race baiter, which that's why I felt like the first one was kind of. Even if it wasn't, that's what it came off to. Me as. This one was a lot more direct and uh, a better track. You know what I'm saying? In my personal opinion. But y'all let me know what y'all think of this down below in the comments. Y'all like, comment, subscribe. And until next time. <sighs> he, another person got Nick out of here. That's what I like to see. I thought this was my all, but it isn't They would have blamed God, but I didn't My whole team took it in stride We ain't never took no pride Our love for this game is the reason why we in it They thought this was my all, but it isn't They would have blamed God, but I didn't My whole team took it in stride We ain't never took no pride Our love for this game is the reason why we in it We never compromise and show no change But we still about to blow no propane I got these thoughts of suicide Since these people want me dead, I'll take a bullet to the head like Cobain <laughs>